Florida in the McKinley Climactic Chamber doing extreme environmental testing and we are currently setting up to go to extreme hot weather testing where we'll be doing a series of tests to ensure the aircraft functions at plus 50 degrees Celsius. Here we're going to check the uh, temperature extremes for the aircraft for certification. We need to make sure all of the hydraulics and electrics and fuel systems and everything uh, works at those extremes before we uh, can certify the aircraft. So after the aircraft arrived, we had uh, a couple days of setup, and the setup included putting the aircraft in place and backing it up into the Eglin provided exhaust ducting. We set up chains on the landing gear systems to restrain the aircraft when we're running the engine, so we make sure the aircraft doesn't move. Many of instrumentation equipment is not meant for a plus 50, so we had to bring in cold air and then extract that air outside of the airplane. We are having Eglin set up solar panels so we can mimic the sun's radiation of the aircraft on a hot tarmac. We've put a series of black tarping or black wrap over the aircraft to kind of get a worst case scenario. They want to compare the darker portions like this to the opposite of the cell, which is going to be just the standard white. We start with 50 degrees Celsius, standard day. We'll add a bunch of humidity to see the response of the humidity. And then we do a solar cycling test where we actually use the chamber and use the chamber solar cells and do a full cycling as if the aircraft is sitting outside on a full day. And then we'll check the response of the system, how the cabin heats and cools. Hydromechanical systems is another one where we're trying to operate all of the flaps and the slats. We're trying to do a landing gear swing to make sure again that everything operates as we expected or that we find the issues now so we can fix them for later. The aircraft is a beautiful aircraft. I'm anxious to see it deployed in, in the real world and flying all around the planet. Uh,